Hi Pisces, welcome to the singles reading. How are you guys? Welcome in, welcome in. This is something new I'm doing. I, I just normally do weekly readings. I don't always do uh, singles. Please let me know if you, you're interested in this and I can keep it going. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep the weekly readings as they are. So what I normally do is I pull for the singles, the romance angels first. We cover them and then we clarify with the two out. All right, angel spirit guides. What else do we have from my Pisces singles? Pisces singles. Anything else for my Pisces singles? And then I got to go put my phone on mute. Sorry, guys. Always forget to do that. Let's see. Well, I love the bottom of the deck. It says soulmates are here. That's amazing. Okay, let's see what's going on, guys. Retreat is here. It's time to disconnect from the world, but I feel like this is where you've been. This is, uh, you're in this mode right now, I feel as if Pisces. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, because I think you've been in retreat mode. I think that you've been just like in this thought process while the whole world was spinning around you, Pisces. And it, it's like, it's enough. You see this to me, I just kept seeing the spinning, spinning, spinning in your mind. And I feel like you've been in retreat mode long enough. It's time to come out. I mean, the world needs a Pisces. The world needs a lot of Pisces. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy people out there and everybody needs the loving energy of a Piscean. All right, so I have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I have express your love. Uh, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And I have soulmate here at the bottom of the deck. I wanted to see what the next card was, which is romantic feelings, but it felt like the universe is like, no, just take this and be done. So what am I vibing here uh, for you single Pisces? It looks like as soon as you come out of this retreat mode and you free yourself from this retreat mode, you're going to meet somebody very soon because it's telling you to express your love. And it, it feels like uh, I almost felt like this, like this little cage going around my heart, like, and hearing like the rust doors opening, like, you know, and it's like, I feel like Pisces, it's, it's, it's time for you to open your heart chakra again. And, and it's like, uh, it's, and of course you can, you're very capable, but it, it's as if it's like, you feel a little rusty right now. And it looks like this person that you're going to meet very soon, you're going to have a honeymoon phase. And it's funny because at the bottom of the deck, I have soulmate, but under that was romantic feelings and it fell on the floor, which tells me that it might actually be one of you in the beginning. And it might be some kind of a situation where one of you has to build feelings up as well. And I think it's going to take time for you to realize what you are to each other. So I find that very interesting. All right, Pisces, of course, please. Like, share, and subscribe as always so we can get the channel up and running. Uh, and let me know if you like these single reads and you want me to keep them going. All right. So we do see you having an exciting new beginning, exciting new adventure. This is how it initiates. This is some fiery, smoky, uh, fun, good news. That's what this is. There's a messenger who brings in good news. And you feel, you feel excited again. You feel like a little teenager. All right, so let's see. Please help me clarify uh, Retreat Universe Angel Spirit Guides. Why is Retreat here? Let's clarify Retreat. I think um, that these two cards are the most significant, and let me explain why. I usually do one shuffle, and a good five, six cards come out for each zodiac sign. And for you, it was really just these two. And I was like, this can't be the end of the story. So I did another shuffle. And then these came out. So why am I telling you this? Because I think this is the stage that you're currently in. And then this is the following stage that's coming towards you. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify retreat. We got the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. This is amazing. All right. So you're going to take a leap of faith towards something fresh and new. And whoever this is that's coming in towards you will be refreshing. It'll be refreshingly honest because this person comes in charging like a bull. It might be a little aggressive. It's like they come in and 
this person states like just states things like matter of fact it's not exa exactly pisces language you don't exactly tell a pisces hey let's do this this and that pisces is like hold on calm down uh stop rushing in towards me relax and slow your roll thank you very much but this person is going to be refreshingly honest in the sense that they're they're not going to lie to you Pisces they're just going to tell you how they feel because they want to be on the same page with their person and it could be an Aries not sure because that's the card of Aries um but for you it's too much because you're coming out of this retreat mode so when this person comes charging in you're like thank you for being honest but you know it's too much but it, that's why I felt that energy below with the whole soulmate and the romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck some people when they're coming out of their uh, inner reflection mode uh when they're coming out of their um shadow work or light work or reflection period because we had pluto retrograde at the end of april and it finally went direct october 6th it went direct a week ago so you know pluto finally had a cup of coffee and it's a it's woken it's full force and now october 20th we have full moon in aries which is the planet go 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 and if you're dealing with the fire sign they're going to give you this kind of energy very aggressive but refreshingly honest you just have to understand and see their perspective where they're coming from but you are you are going to take a leap of faith and you are going to say i'm going to i'm, I'm going to stop i'm going to stop being in retreat mode and i'm going to free myself and I'm going to be a little teenager. I'm going to throw spaghetti up against the wall. And I'm going to see what sticks. I have a lot of internal wisdom. I've been in my hidey hole all this long while. It's time I found my happiness with somebody. This is what you're saying to yourself, Pisces. All right, what's free yourself? Please clarify, free yourself. I normally show my face, guys, but I wasn't feeling it today. <laughs> Plus, I want everybody to see, you know, how I do what I do here, uh, at least for one of these initial readings. Yes, there's somebody stable coming in towards you. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, the other card that came in. There might be some arguing, fighting. You might challenge each other, but in a friendly, healthy kind of way. You need to stop doing this, though. You know, because this is a self-defense mechanism over here. Because I was looking at this fence again, and this is you fencing yourself in. You, it's not necessary because I know this is a protective barrier for you, but you look how unique you are. You're a fucking unicorn. You're, you're a diamond in the rough. What are you doing in this cage? <laughs> Come out. You know, and I think you will. And I think there's somebody here who's going to challenge you. But this is somebody stable, sturdy. They got their shit together. Financially, um, physically, mentally, they've got it all going on. They're grounded. They speak your language, but not at first. Definitely not at first. This person wants marriage. They want money on their home with you, and they want a full family. They could very well also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there the fuck you are. Hello. Hi, Pisces. Here I am right next to this king. I speak water. I speak love. I speak emotions. I'm, in, I'm emotionally intelligent. I am Pisces. Hi, I am fire. I speak passion. I speak sexy. <laughs> I speak fun. I speak witty. I speak witty. I, well, I do this, I do that. Well, when you find the right combination, guess what happens and you connect the two of you? You create steam. Water and fire, perfect combination creates steam. This person comes in and it's just, they're, they're coming in with a knight of swords and a knight of wands. This is, this is great. But not for a Pisces because it's not your language. But it doesn't mean that the feels aren't there. The feels are completely there. This person wants probably what you want. Stability. Money in your home. Marriage. Foundation. They want exactly what you want. Let's see what express your love is. This is interesting, Pisces. I think, though, because, uh, you know... Uh, I'm thinking about that hermit card again. I, I I highly suspect that you are the wise one in this um, scenario. I mean, this is why you're at the end of the zodiac wheel. You know, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius come before you because it's it's like think of it like this: Aries is the child of the zodiac, 
where Pisces, you are the old wise one. You are, they are the beginning. You are the end. So it's like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius have to learn a lot of life lessons, a lot. And a lot has to do with their environment by the time they get to a wise Pisces person. And that's what makes Pisces so beautiful. They take their time because they understand. They give, they listen to the other person and they give them chances. But they say to themselves, you know what? If they're a lost cause, they're a lost cause. If they're worth working with, great. You're one of the rare few Pisces that can discern that if you do receive a project, somebody that we call projects, you know if they're worth having or not. Mostly of the other zodiac signs can't discern that when they receive projects, if they're worth working on or not. You do. You, you, you can discern that. That's what makes you so beautiful. This is what makes you guys fucking unicorns. The diamond in the rough. What's express your love? Why is express your love here? All right, so they're saying, you know, look, here we are again. The love card, the, your, your card, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, under that, Seven of Pentacles, investing love and energy into the situation, working with this person. You know, but you're clinging on to your values. Look at this. There's one pentacle after the next, which to me screams stability, stability, stability. And here's another pentacle. Like, I've never seen all these pentacles clumped together like this. And this is, you know, this is moving on from the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles is the opportunity. Hey, would you like to date me? Hey, would you like to be my girlfriend or boyfriend? This is the one foot on that journey, on that road. So it's, and, you know, I have two of these cards in this deck. This is the Ten of Swords. One says Ten of Swords, and the other one says everything is fine. You're worried about an ending before a beginning here. You're, you're thinking way too much about what's going to happen in this relationship. You're already discerning that, you know, it's not going to work out. There's going to be an ending. <laughs> when there's, or, there's a beginning, let the beginning happen. Just express your feelings. Express your love over here, Pisces. You know, uh, some of you could be worried about the past betrayals that you've had to endure, you know, your past endings, and you're, you're, you're trying to, um, not carry them forward into this relationship, but you can't help yourself to think about those things. Um, and you know, maybe for you by expressing how you feel, you can transmute this energy because it says the universe is telling you everything is fine. You know, enjoy the beginning before you're looking at an ending, express your love. You know, try to work with this individual. You might actually work with this person. You might meet them at work or in a working environment. Shuffle a little. What's honeymoon over here for Pisces? Pisces singles. What's honeymoon? single. You're thinking about your identity. You're thinking about your legacy. You're thinking about your independence. You're thinking about your financial status. You're thinking all these things, right? I knew it. And then the devil. Maybe some of you are dealing with Capricorn. Others of you, this is something that's toxic that you've been trying to work out of your life. Maybe some of you guys have been single for so long that you only know how to, you know, play one tune one string on a guitar and this is something that you you could be obsessing over but this is all the shadow work and all the light work that you've been doing on yourself pisces and it's time to free yourself your old way of thinking your old processes because i see you here you know d clinging on to like an old form of an idea or ideal it's time to let that go you don't need to be single anymore you can rely on someone else and it's saying, you know, also here, because it's clarifying honeymoon, you're going to go through a honeymoon phase with this person. But during this honeymoon phase, it's saying, be careful of how you present yourself um, or how this person presents themselves. You know, of course, they could just be a Capricorn. And, you know, it, it feels like somebody here in this dynamic, while you're going through this honeymoon phase, it feels like somebody is just... Um, screaming their independence from the rooftop 
And it's just a toxic thing that needs to be worked out. So it's saying, enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. You're not alone because this is the card of single. And this is talking about toxic patterns, behaviors. Enjoy the honeymoon phase. Don't get stuck here though, because relationships take work as well. You will overcome this. You will. Because this is the six of um, wands, which is success. And you have the six of pentacles, where normally for me, this is the breadcrumbing card. But when I have two sixes together, you know what that signifies? You skip right over the five. The fives are shitty because they're times of change. They're, they're sad. They're transitioning. And the sixes is right after the five. So it's telling me this is you coming out of transition period, finding something balanced and successfully doing it. So, you know, there are a lot of things that you're unaware of here. But this is justice coming towards you with ten of pentacles, money on your home, and a loving relationship. This is my only caveat here. What soulmate? Let's clarify soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Why did you show me soulmate at the bottom of the deck? Oh. Wow. This fucking ten of pentacles. Sorry, I F-bomb. Um, yeah. This ten of pentacles keeps wanting to come out. Eight of Wands. This is communication or action. Soulmate. This person is actively coming into your life very fucking soon. This is a very soon card. Very soon. And this person wants stability and, and you know, financial gain in your family. So this is somebody that's a soulmate. Somebody you resonate deeply with. And I don't think you see it at first, Pisces. I think it takes time. Because I see you over here being very defensive. Page of Swords in reverse. You're not bothering to take a second look. You need to stop this. You need to stop this. But this can also be telling me the look is over, Pisces. The look is over. You've met your soulmate. This person is coming in. There's a soulmate energy that's coming in. I think you're dealing with this energy right now, the retreat and free yourself, Pisces. I think you're coming out of this because it's saying you need to free yourself. And once you do, all of this is going to take place. The soulmate is coming in. And this was in the reverse. So this is telling me you no longer have to wait because you are moving into the right direction. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for this person a long while. A long while. And then you had judgment call. So some of you, you're very defensive. You know, you're very like this. I'm single. I'm independent. I can do things on my own woman power, man power, whatever. You're just saying this. And this is like not, this is a, this isn't, this is toxic. You need to drop the guards because I see you trying to make a decision regarding this person. This is a, just a temporary energies guys. You know, they shift. All right. Universe, angel, spirit gods. How about some, um, advice here from my Pisces? What's the advice? <clears throat> Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. There's your card. And again, that's why I was seeing the hermit before. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon in eclipse. Yeah, this is a, this is culminating very quickly. The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's this. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is the retreat and free yourself. Full moon in Capricorn. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Guys, I really, when I look at these as timing, because uh, some, I know, you know, a lot of tarot readers read this as just the advice. I love it. But you know what else I love about this? Not only does it give good advice, I feel like sometimes it talks about timing. So when I look at these moon phases, this is definitely talking about January, February, that something is culminating at the end of, um, this year, right around um, December, with the full moon eclipse, moving into this energy, Capricorn, um, new moon in Aquarius, and the new moon in Pisces, this is, this is, this is going to culminate the soulmate energy 
you will be going into this direction at the beginning of next year is what I'm vibing here. It's what I'm seeing. Guys, I want to grab one card, which I forgot. The power of love. Feel free to click off if you're not interested anymore. You know, like, share, and subscribe, of course, guys. And let me know if you like these readings. But those of you who want to work uh, on manifesting this love, this is a great... Um, these are great cards that you can uh, use as mantras, like something that you keep repeating that you can work on. This is also what we call doing that light work on ourselves to bring in that love. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. Wow. Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them as all lessons. Yeah, because you're the wise ones in the Zodiac Wheel. So you, it, it's something that you need to say to yourself. You know what? I acknowledge my misdeeds and my accomplishments alike. They're all life lessons. So you can apply this energy to the person that you're meeting and understand them what they're coming from because only you have that power to discern the difference. All right, with that said, Pisces, love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one.